All right, guys. Shit, there we go. In a classic cam fashion, I'm uh, shooting this retroactively the day after because I forgot to do it beforehand. Another episode of Eat the D went to Olin. Uh, I think it's like Olin something or other. Hold on. Olin Bar and Kitchen. So went there for another episode of Eat the D. <laughs> this is kind of the end of the fancier places for now. I've been on the little, the last three Eat the D's have been a little fancier in this one. This is the third one in there. After this, I got one more. Probably the next one I'm going to do is kind of like a little in between, a little fancier, a little kind of not. And then after that, some uh, a lot more, let's say, financially attainable restaurants, financially attainable food. Got a lot of those lined up. Looking forward to it. This one, this is a good one. Eat the D, another episode. Let's get into it. Grand River Ave in Detroit. Definitely looks pretty cool in here. They got a lot of cool art on the walls, which you've seen. I'm uh, sat right next to the kitchen with an open view of the kitchen, which is pretty cool. So, there's two things. I'm debating between the Mahi Mahi and the Spring Crab Risotto, so we'll see what the waitress recommends. So, I ended up going with the Spring Crab Risotto. Uh, I asked the waitress, there's butternut squash puree underneath it. And like I said, I'm not a huge spring butternut squash person. So I went with the, sorry, my face is in the way the whole time. I went with the uh, spring crab risotto. So we'll see how that goes once I get that out. I'll probably get a dessert, despite me not being much of a ordering dessert person. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Got it. You guys gotta look at it. Let's take a bite here. This looks pretty fucking good. Mmm. That is good. Ooh. How does the dickens? Uh, let me pull it up here real quick so I can tell you guys what's in this thing. It's had a little bit of a little bit of kick in the back of the throat there. Blue crab, asparagus, carrot, pea, and a ramp. Don't know what ramp is, but you know. You can really taste the crab, which I like because I love crab, I love seafood. And risotto is always really good too. You guys know I'm a big asparagus guy. Let's try to get some of this, looks like beets in this, where it's that ramp, whatever it is. Mm. Yeah, it's hot, but it's really good. So far, I don't like these fancier places I've been here, uh, She Wolf, and uh, Grey Ghost. This one's probably, this one's my favorite, at least out of the dishes I've had. 
Q Wolf is a close second. And then Grey Ghost. Grey Ghost was good, but I wasn't overly impressed. But this is good. This and She Wolf could trade punches, but I think at the end of the day, I'd go here. If it wasn't, <laughs> assuming they don't give us piles of free food like they did. So I think I am going to get the, the dessert I saw on the menu. It was a flourless chocolate cake with rum, pineapple, and butter pecan ice cream. It's really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm definitely going to get this flour, this chocolate cake with rum, pineapple, and butter pecan ice cream. That sounds really good. I'm normally not a dessert person at restaurants, but you know, I figured I'd give it a try. That really caught my attention when I read it, so, you know, why not? I'm gonna finish up this risotto, and I will talk to you when I get that chocolate cake. Alright, so here we are with the flourless chocolate cake. There we go. Rum pineapple with butter pecan ice cream. Let's try it out. Let's get some of the cake. Got kind of thick ice cream. It's like rubber. I couldn't separate it. Get all in one bite here. Oh. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. The cake's nice and warm and chocolatey. The pineapple. The pineapple adds like some nice sweetness. Nice interesting flavor in the mix. Some nice citrus. And then the uh, the ice cream is nice and cold, balances it all out. If you come here, big recommend on this. If you're a dessert person, I do not regret this for a second. I'm gonna sit here, finish this up, enjoy it. But that's all I got today. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments about, uh, I don't know, anything you want. Say whatever you want. Odds are I'll respond at some point. Between this, she Wolf and Grey Ghost. I think this one, I mean, She Wolf was definitely solid. And I'm trying not to weigh into the fact that they gave us a bunch of free food. But I think on sheer taste alone. It's Olin, which is here. And then She Wolf. And then, like, way down here is Grey Ghost. I wasn't too impressed with Grey Ghost. Like I said, it was good, but it wasn't solid. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to finish this up. Like and subscribe. Talk in the comments. Another episode of Eat the D in the books. And I will uh, talk to you guys later. I'm, I'm working on that video game video. It's very nearly done. It's like, uh, I'll have it done tomorrow. And then I'll post it sometime this coming well, actually, I'll probably post it before this, so never mind. So, okay, I'll put it in the corner so you, for you to watch it. But thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.